Hello friends, welcome to my channel Aditya 11 Triple T. Today we are going to have a look on this CRO. This is the CRO of UNIT. Model number is UTD 2102CEX. This is 100 megahertz and 1 gigabytes per speed DSO. Okay. This is a digital storage oscilloscope as you can see. This is the model number and this is the speed it has been written over here. This is the on button right here, on and off button. This is the main power supply over here. From here we keep power supply and this is the way we on the... Okay, now we are going to on the CRO and see what comes. Okay, now right now there is no line. Okay, as I have switched off everything. Now I am going to switch it on. Yeah, okay, now this is firstly two channels here. Channel number one, channel number two. Okay, this is for channel number one. This is for channel number two. Okay, if I press this, light will glow and line appears okay now if i press this okay so here second line appears so this is the way you get two particular lines appear over here this is yellow is for channel number yellow is for channel number two and blue is for channel number one okay this has two type of line and this is a two channel cro right here okay here you can see if you select this particular then it changes to channel number one see here it is channel number one if you select two over here then it will be shifted to channel number two over here now this channel also uh, now this particular point is connected with a probe this is the probe over here which we use for testing purpose this is the particular probe out here if you place it out here okay we have placed the probe here and now we are placing another probe here okay now as you can see, I'm removing. Okay, now as this is open, it is having much and much variations right here. Okay. Now secondly, this probe also plays a very important role. Okay, now first let me tell you something. This particular point as you can see, or you can see this is connected to ground. This is a universal ground. You can use a wire to connect it like I have connected over here. Okay, and let me show you the wire. This is the wire I have connected. You can connect this particular wire to the motherboard. And you can make it a universal ground over there. Okay, now in order to calibrate the CRO, we use this two probe and we connect it to a particular point. This is the universal uh, frequency generation point to calibrate the CRO. Yet now see, I am going to plug it here and see what happens on the screen. See, this is what is happening. As you can see uh, it is coming kind of with a wave and similarly I am putting this also and you will see a wave again. Okay. This is the way you can calibrate. Okay. Now <coughs> one more thing I would like to tell you is okay friends now I will be talking about this particular probes. Okay, this is an oscilloscope probe. Okay, we get uh, generally if it is a this is a two channel as uh, CRO or you can say DSO. Okay, now this is particular channel number one, channel number two. Okay, and this is EXT trick. Okay, as you can see, it is channel one, channel two, and EXT trick. Okay. To one thing about this particular probe. Okay, this probe also plays a vital role on this particular CRO. This probe also is used for adjusting purpose you can see a line over here here you can see a line this line and this line this is having a few difference this is a bit upward as you can see a bit slowly upward now here is a channel to uh, set it out you can set this particular thing okay let me show you this hole you can see this hole okay now i'm going to set it with the help of the screwdriver you will see a variation is happening out here i am trying you can see the variation is happening see this is the variation which is happening this is used for adjusting the uh, particular CRO so here you can see a variation is happening and I am adjusted it okay so this is used for calibration of this particular point so this hole is used for adjustment similarly it also has a hole which can be used for the adjustment purpose okay this way you can use for adjusting this thing now suppose you want to adjust it there is one simple option in this particular CRO that is you can use auto mode if you click auto mode 
it will take automatic automatic adjustment in this this is it has been adjusted automatically okay you can see it is automatically adjusted itself to the size what it should be suppose you want to do the manual okay now if you want to first do with the channel number 2 as it is channel number 2 is selected over here this one is for volt section volt is been presented right here this is on 20 volt right now if i reduce it okay now see i i am changing it sorry i have selected channel number 2 right now and i am changing it now it is 50 volt just have a look it is 50 volt now i am reducing it it is 20 now it is 10 and again i am coming down to 5 volts now this is 5 volt and if i keep on reducing it will go to the operation limit and after that it will say it is in operation limit see the operation limit has come now again i am increasing it this is 1 volt okay now i am back to 20 volts now if i want to stop this moment i have to use this trigger point okay I have to use this trigger point to stop the movement. See, it has stopped. So it depends upon the frequency. If you are using two channel together, then it will it will take one also as an average. Let's talk about the channel one first. Okay, this is channel one. As you all can see right here, it is channel one. Okay, this is the positioning part. You can move it up. down okay this is the up down movement part okay i'm keeping it in center okay as soon as i remove this particular probe uh, over it from here this is came to the part now if i want to adjust this thing first i have to increase the voltage of this this i have increased to 1 voltage here it is 1 voltage 1 voltage is here right here 1 voltage this is if i rotate it it will go to 2 3 5 and this is the operational limit and if i keep on reducing it will go to somewhere 1.0 vmb this is the minimum limit so i am keeping it in one voltage right now to one voltage approximately here you can see the line if you want to reduce the scale also you can reduce it by just rotating it this is the scale rotation So this is the movement of this define the movement of line. See, this is the movement of line. If you want to increase the speed, you have to just rotate it, and this is the movement of line. So this has been used for adjusting to see the slow and speed of the particular uh, signals and all. If you keep on reducing it, it will go to very slowly, slowly movement. But if you keep on increasing, it will go to faster. See, this is increasing. If I reduce, and again it is reduced. Okay. This gap shows completion of one cycle. This is gap is coming. This is the completion of one cycle. But if we keep on increasing, it will vanish up. This is continuous now. You will not be able to see the gap. Okay. Now, this is for the uh, frequency stoppage. to check the stoppage of the frequency moment and all okay now <coughs> this function i'll cover it all later so basically you have to use this auto function this is channel 1 channel 2 this is the voltage adjustment this is the uh, line adjustment this is for the frequency stoppage this is for the positioning of horizontal and vertical this you can see as i move out here if you move uh, left right okay and keep it in means keeping it up in center right now okay now i'll show you i am putting this probe this probe to this frequency level okay now i am pressing the you can adjust it manually this is how i we adjust manually Adjusting manually. Okay. Now, if I want to stop this movement, I have to use this trick point. 
Yes, I am using it. See the movement is going up. After you this point. See this is moving up. As soon as it touches this line, the movement is stopped. If you want to stop this particular line, you have to use this trick point and as soon as you release it, it will start movement again. If you keep it, uh, if you change this, it will show fast. Okay. This is you can do. So this was the basics of this particular uh, digital storage oscilloscope. Hope you will like the video. If you have any query, you can ask me. I later I will be covering the part of this particular how the usage is done in detail. But right now many have asked me about this particular usage and working. That's why I made this a uh, simple video to make you understand how it is actually working. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Thanks for watching my channel Aditya Eleven Triple T. If you like my channel, please do hit the subscribe button, comment, like. and share the videos if you like it thanks a lot for watching the channel thanks a lot